I am O.P. Yadav, I am the Chief Cardiac Surgeon and the Chief Executive Officer of the National Heart Institute in New Delhi. The standard natural history of a venous graft are three phases of occlusion. One is immediate, which usually occurs within the hospital where a technical fault has taken place or an acute thrombotic occlusion has taken place and that is around 5 to 10 percent of the venous graft are blocked in hospital. Then comes a phase of fibroendothelial hyperplasia which occurs in roughly uh, 1 to 2 percent of patients per month, roughly about 5 to 10 percent at one year in which the normal physiological process of fibroendothelial hyperplasia may go pathological and a physiological process to, to optimize the size of the conduit to that of the coronary artery to, to, to restore the laminar flow can become pathological and that can cause a graft obstruction. However, beyond one year, usually it is the process of atherosclerosis which is progressive and that can block your native coronary arteries as well as the graft which has been put into the patient and the typical rates quoted in the literature is one to two percent per year for the first five years and then three to five percent per year for the next five years overall roughly 50 percent of the grafts venous grafts will be blocked at 10 years